So our seventh lesson on sociology basics, on social processes, we've got to address the nature versus nurture argument. We'll be able to recall the basics of this central debate. So then apply the knowledge in exam questions in our while, let them evaluate the knowledge in a written answer. Loads of key words, looked at them before, we'll talk about them during the lesson. The basic arguments. Some people in biological science, genetics say, human behaviour is mostly instinct. We behave in the ways we do because it's in our DNA. Versus social scientists, like sociologists, say no, human behaviour is so different around the world, it's cultural, we have learned how to behave. That's the argument. So natural scientists say, no, if you look carefully, you'll see with all human behaviour, there's some DNA basis to it. There's genetics. We have programmed a certain way of birth to behave certain ways, and that's what governs our behaviour. The social science view is this is complete rubbish, utter garbage and very easy to show. If human behaviour was instinctive, there'd be no feral children. There'd be no point of primary socialisation. It's just not true. And we say, look, anthropology shows this. If you go around the world, you see different peoples all behave more differently. And look at human history. If it was genetic, we wouldn't have changed over the last 10,000 years of what we believe and the way we behave, and yet we have. We've changed the way we dress, the way we speak, what we think's right, what we think's wrong. If it was genetic, it wouldn't have changed. Bees haven't changed. And this has gone back and forth for the last 150, perhaps 200 years. You've got, on one side, the natural scientists, initially led by people, eugenicists, like Lambrosco, who thought that he discovered that these people here are criminals because of their funny shaped heads and they're not fully human, they can't help it. And to social scientists, like my professor, Professor Bowman, say, no, 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 it's, it, it's not that, it's the way the culture's raised you. It's gone back and forth. Uh, the eugenicists lost for a while and then they're back with geneticists. So it, it's an ongoing argument. And the current view is somewhere like this. It depends on who you ask. But it's sort of 70-30, sociologists would say. Sociologists don't say it's no such thing as genetics, it's not important. We say but it's about 70% culture, 30% genetics. Biologists, geneticists might say, no, 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 it's more like 50-50. It's still a current argument. An example we use is this guy here, Jim Fallon. He's a geneticist. He discovered the warrior gene. In his first, when he first discovered it, he thought he discovered why some people were violent maniacs. He said, if you got this gene, you're a violent maniac. He, went, he studied lots of psychopaths in prison for incredible acts of violence and found they all had the same gene, the same bit of DNA. Then, as a control, he tested himself and his family and found that he had the warrior gene. And yet he's not a violent maniac. So for that he figured out, oh yeah, you need the warrior gene plus a really, really terrible upbringing, really badly socialised, cruel, abuse, plus the warrior gene, then you're not a. So warrior gene, nice, loving, stable upbringing, you're fine. Horrible, vile, abusive upbringing, no warrior gene, you also won't be a, a, a violent nutter. So it's, it's, it's a combination. In the exam, it looks something like this. A five marker, explain the difference between the nature and nurture theories of human behaviour. Just done that, go ahead and do it. Another four marker, explain two reasons why sociologists reject nature theories of human behaviour. Here's how I started. 
sociologists reject nature theory and behaviour, because if nature theory were true, then humans would be the same all over the world. We'd be the same all through history. A third one, if you want, would be no such thing as feral children. You need to write that with EGs to get all the marks.